Great, so this is question 1.6. It's called string compression. And what we want to do here is if we take a string like this one, whenever there's a repeating character, we kind of append the number of times it repeats. So this A here repeats twice, so we do A2. B has only one instance, so it's just B1 here. C repeats five times, and then A repeats three times. But the one little caveat here is that we only want to return kind of a smaller version of this. So if you have something like A, B, C, D, E, that would then be A1, B1, C1, D1, and then E1. And so the original is actually the smaller version. So this one's really not any more compressed. So we wouldn't want to return that. We would just return the original. So the most important thing for this question is to make sure that you're using String Builder because string concatenation takes O of n squared time, so it really wouldn't be optimal. So it's really important to remember when you're doing a lot of concatenation, you want to be using String Builder. So what we're going to do is first create our String Builder. So we're going to call this compressed string. Goes new string builder. And then we're going to have an integer variable just for keeping track of um, the number of times like your character has occurred. So I'll just call it repeat count equals zero. And then now we're going to iterate through our string. So i is less than the string's length. And every single time we iterate, we want to increment this count. And we do at the very beginning because as you can see, even though B only repeats once, we always increment it one time. So you want to do it immediately in the loop. You know, it's occurred once, increment it. And then after this, we're going to have an if condition. And this is probably the core part of this question. And so we first want to check whether this is like the final character here, because we want to, want to make sure that we append that number three. So if string.length is less than or equal to i plus one. So this is just checking, you know, is this the final, you know, character in the string? So i plus one, is that greater or equal to the string's length. And then we want to check whether or not the character, the next character is not equal to the current character, because then we want to add this um, repeat count to it. So whenever we see that, oh, the next um, character coming up is different than our current one, we want to append our current repeat count. So if string dot character at i, so the current character does not equal the next upcoming current character, then we're going to want to append it. So what we do here is we have our compressed string. We do dot append the current character. And then we're going to want to append the number of times we've repeated this character, like our current repeat count. Great. And so then the last little thing here is you definitely want to set this to zero because that would be, you know, now that we're going on to the letter B here, we want to set the number of increments back to zero. It will then reloop and increment it back to one and so forth. So now, when we're exiting the loop, we want to make sure that we're hitting this little case where we only want to return um, the smaller version. So if the compressed string isn't actually smaller than the original version, we want to return just the original string. So if compressed, um, what's it called? Compressed string dot length is less than string dot length. 
then we return the compressed string. Otherwise, we just return the original. Great, so why don't we just run this? And, oh, let's just convert it to string. Great, and so that's it there. And why don't we just try that case where it would just return the original, so A, B, C, D, E, F, G. It would just return A, B, C, D, F, G rather than A1, B1, C1, and so forth. Great, and so the time complexity for this is O of N, and because we're using string builder, we're also using O of N, so it, you do have that, you know, although we're you know, not doing it in place, we would have had to do string concatenation so we're kind of making this trade off for performance and space complexity here. So yeah, I hope that helped. Follow for more.